Welcome to Montana State University. I'm the Dean of the Graduate School and I want to tell you a little bit about graduate education and graduate studies at Montana State University. Here at Montana State, our graduate students' aspirations are as epic as Montana's famed Big Sky. We have over 37 doctoral programs and over 50 master's programs for you to choose from. And the kind of, re of research and graduate education activities that we do here, I think you can't find it any other place. Montana State University's location offers a unique environment that has Yellowstone in its backyard that can inspire a variety of different kinds of research activities, but also to inspire art and architecture and history. We can do anything from the science to engineering to art to the humanities. The possibilities are left up to your imagination. Yeah, I'm looking at a alternative diet development, trying to replace uh, the marine ingredient in the diet of rainbow trout. It's important because the uh, alternative ingredient that we use in formulating uh, aquaculture feed, we don't have enough to supply for feeding uh, carnivorous fish like rainbow trout. And as a result, research has been ongoing to look for alternative. If we're able to get this, then we have more fish available for the world. So I do data analysis for the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, and I specifically look at trying to find these gravitational waves from sources that we maybe haven't predicted yet. So we know that we can get gravitational waves from like merging black holes, but there are other sources, for example, maybe supernova, maybe glitching pulsars, so it'll help us learn more about what's out there in our universe and what the populations of certain astrophysical bodies are. My research is an indigenous environmental history, meaning that I am following the changes to the environment um, from an indigenous perspective using our Ojibwa teachings and worldview. Over the course of time, especially through the 19th century, pressure from colonization really changed our relationship with our food system. So I'm exploring the overall effect on the well-being of both the people and the other species that were involved in the seasonal round as, as it changed. So my research is mainly looking at how we can improve the performance of an organism. Answering these questions will give us an idea what we could do to improve our performance in like sport, endurance, uh, activities like triathlon or marathon and this stuff. So maybe with a little bit of changes in our diet activities, we could improve our performance when we go to anaerobic condition. Montana is one of the best places in the world for paleontology. Dinosaurs are a very broad group in terms of the way they move and their physiology. By looking at large scale evolutionary trends in dinosaur movement, we can see how environmental changes might have affected the evolution of these animals. I invite you to come and join the graduate student family here at Montana State University, where the possibilities to do unique research and educational activities are limitless.